Hey, hey, everybody, this is Larry. This is, uh, let me make sure I, there's some, because one day I forgot to submit it, so I just want to make sure I submitted the daily contest of the day prom. Uh, but yeah, but today I'm trying to do an extra um, algo prom that I haven't done yet. So let's get to it. Uh, but yeah, happy holidays, uh, happy, uh, Oh, I thought I wrote all this because sometimes I, I, you know, pre-write stuff, but this is a new poem, so that wouldn't make sense. But yeah, but anyway, yeah, happy holidays, a happy long weekend, happy everything, you know, just, you know, hope everyone's good. Um, but yeah, uh, today's poem is, it's, it's an easy poem, but it's one with many downloads, so we'll see how this goes. It's 157, read and characters given read four. All right, given a file and assume you can only read the file using a given method read four and permit and method to read n characters. The API read four, reads four consecutive files and, and then reads the buffer. All right, and then what are we trying to do? We're trying to read. Um, okay, so I, mean, I guess the idea is that they want you to implement the buffer, right? I'm just trying to, I mean, this may be a little, I mean, I don't think this is, conceptually that hard but but i think like it's just very easy to mess up and i don't know what they, they want here so uh yeah destination buffer what are we trying to do here read and so basically we can call a function read for maybe solve that read for uh all right so i guess this is how example right so yeah, okay. Yeah, so basically we can only use this function and we're trying to uh, implement this other function. This actually comes into play quite a bit in real life. Ooh, hit my shoulder a little bit, my elbow. Uh, this actually comes into play in, in a real bit, be, uh, in the real world a little bit because, um, yeah, you actually, you know, uh, I.O. is actually the most expensive thing, at least for a while. I mean, maybe nowadays people don't really care about it as much as they should, but I.O. is very expensive, so definitely you want to do it, you know, you want to read as much as you can, uh, especially when things are on, you know, uh, uh, is it higher level or lower level? I forget which way is it, but like on the, the level of cash that is closest to, um, you know, your processor, right? So, yeah. Um, so I don't think this is so bad. It's just, you know, we, we can define our own buffer. Uh, maybe we have a, a queue because I'm lazy. I think in theory, if you really want to write this like in the spirit of how this, these may be written in the past, you would actually implement like a, a circular array kind of heap type thing, uh, maybe, but uh, to kind of so that you can, you know, reuse the same chunk of memory. But I don't know. I mean, it's fine. I don't, I don't, I, I don't care that much but i also want because i think i'm a little bit confused a little bit just because usually when we do these kind of things they want to call read multiple times so that you kind of still have leftovers so that's why i'm like a little bit confused about maybe that part is not um ported to this problem so we'll play around with this maybe i misunderstand this problem so you know it'll be a fun uh, we'll, 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 uh, we'll, we'll hang out together and figure it out, I suppose. But yeah, before, I, I guess we'll just do, do the same thing that uh, they write, except I, I write it this way, right? And then now, okay. So then I don't even need this because we're only calling this once. I, I think I had a different version of this problem in my head where you keep on reading from whatever, but maybe that's not true. So yeah, so here, we have while n is greater than c or maybe like red is less than uh i think that's uh the name of the thing so that's confused confusing right so then here right we have r as you go zero we read um r we increment this red buffer right and then that's that's it really oh right um yeah, maybe like answer is to go to this, right? Or maybe return, I don't know, something like that. And then we extend before, what is the dot, dot, dot though? Hmm. But yeah, but maybe we could just do, uh, okay, let's just say uh, length is to go to this. So then, so that we don't worry about like extra data perhaps. 
and then at the end we just return answer i think that's it i don't know if that's what they're looking for because uh oh I f no hmm maybe this goes an in infinite loop when l is zero but how does that happen what does the four stand for uh hmm Can it be less than? Is that why? Uh, wait, we output. What are we outputting? I'm so confused. We're not returning the actual. Why are we just returning the number of characters and not? Okay, this is a very. This is not the problem I thought we we're getting. It's very weird for sure, right? So uh, yeah, so we don't even. Do we actually even need this? I don't know, but uh, okay. So then now. Um, if L is zero, 0, we break, and then we just return R. Is that really it? Such a, okay, maybe not. Uh, output. Why do, I have, why do I have output? Wait. What am I... I'm so confused. What am I returning? All right, let me maybe... Actually, maybe I should read it. We turned by the number of actual character red. Oh, we have to we have to put in buffer, I see. How do we uh, manipulate buffer? It's a destination, not a source. Okay, fine. W will we guarantee that we have enough things? It's very confusing. Hmm. Like, is this what they meant or? Nope, because I guess it, it um, we have to do something like, um, I, I actually don't use this syntax very often, but I'm going to try it just for this particular one. But, uh, yeah, so then R minus L to R is equal to four. Does that work? All right, that does work. Python, like, things are sometimes very magical. Uh, let's give a submit. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I don't know that I expect this to be a right answer, but... Hmm. Or like I, I think this one. I mean, this is why we have a, or this problem has a lot of downloads. Is that I think it's just underspecified a little bit, but maybe that's fine, All right? So why why did I return the code with this one? Oh, I see. Because this reads more than the thing. So yeah. Okay. So well, we want to return um, min of r and n. I think that should be good for. The, Maybe this is still well. Okay, there we go. I guess I just didn't consider the case where you're given a thing and then you just keep on reading on the read four, but you want less than that. Eh, okay. It's a very weird problem. I don't know what the intention is. It's just a... Eh. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, it's not a hard problem, right? It's just... Why? <laughs> but yeah. Uh, that's all I have for this one. Oh, uh, I guess I'll go with the complexity, but this is just, you know, this is a while loop. I don't know that there's much complexity. And we don't use that much extra space. We read things in the buffer. Four. We make a copy of it and we place it in the buffer. And that's it. So everything is constant. We, we only store four things here. And this thing is already in the input. So we use constant extra space. Uh, uh, you could say maybe linear time, but linear, I don't know. It's not the, in the size of the input per se, but it's all of n times, say, but it's not linear. Um, that's all I have for this one. Let me know what you think. And yeah, happy holidays, happy uh, long weekend, and all these other things. Have a good weekend. Stay good, stay healthy, take your mental health. I'll see y'all later. Take care. Bye bye.